instantly hear what you're playing and it's really good, I like it. So it was my first time getting in the studio so I was a bit apprehensive but also excited so by a place called Clay Castle Studios. We spent a good few, probably a month or two, going over the songs, trying different arrangements, you know, seeing where the drums working in the right place, was the bass line working. We tried to figure out the dynamics of the songs, do we need to change something in the structure? Just trying to look at every little detail, what we can improve on for the songs. Um, so together we recorded uh, a, so, a sort of demo in the rehearsal studio to get an idea of what we did entail, you know. Afterwards, though, I'd done a lot of experimenting at home with different instruments, so I was using harmonicas and bazookas and any instrument I had to learn about, a lot of vocal harmonies, trying different things. in Clay Castle Studio in Yall. Uh, our engineer is John Burke, who um, I've recorded with before, and the room is just really, really nice sounding, I think, for especially for the drums. It sounds, makes it sound really big. The best thing about recording was um, trying different things, you know, um, experimenting in the studio, different guitar parts and leads, different instruments. Getting everything, like, completely solid. Uh, you know, that's that's uh, a huge thrill, like, to, to know you've managed to get the whole way through a song without, you know, making a mistake. I like the, the instant feedback you get from recording. You can't really make any mistakes. It's, it's different when you're playing live. You can... You kind of get away with a few mistakes here and there because it's just a split second and people don't realise sometimes that you're actually making a mistake. So you have to be more striving for perfection when you're going into the studio. Pressure and time, it's hard work. I, I learned the hard way the first time, so um, if you had limitless time, there'd be no issue, but you have to get the thing done, you know. We've been playing, I suppose, about seven or eight months. Uh, we've got these amazing tunes. We really want to get our music out there and, and share it with everybody, you know, and, uh, and have people who will be coming to our shows. There's four songs on the EP, and I think they're a good mix of our different styles. There's something quiet, something like a proper indie song, um, something more kind of starting off quiet, going mental. I see it as like a creative process. So at the end, it's like having a painting or something that you've made, you know, and you could be sort of proud of, or you can look back in years later and be like, this is something I made, it's kind of cool, you know. So we'll likely put the songs on Spotify. We're hoping to do a video and get it on YouTube, SoundCloud as well, likely, and Bandcamp, the usual. Yes, hoping to get the vinyls made and have a nice album cover and some artwork and stuff. Maybe a few CDs as well. Some call 